Hey guys, I just wanted to make a quick video about getting some cardio in in the winter. You know, it's pretty cold outside. It's not very conducive to going out and, you know, going for a run. It just makes things tougher. But you've got to get your cardio in. So if you've got a garage or you've got a basement, you've got a couple of cones, now you can substitute these cones. You can get anything. You can get old shoes. You just need a reference point. It can be a piece of paper. Now, a piece of paper might fly around. Let me rephrase that. You can get anything that's actually going to stay on the ground. It has to have some sort of density to it so that it's a reference point and you know you have to go over it or around it. So the first drill we're going to do here is called cone hops. Um, this one's a little bit easier. It's probably the easiest of these to do because you're not getting that much off of the ground and you're using both legs at the same time. Now, this is impactful stuff because you're leaving the ground. It's a little bit, it's plyometrics, okay? So make sure you've got comfortable shoes and you're doing it on a decent surface. Here there's a bit of a, uh, an under floor, um, a padded wooden floor with carpet on top. So it's going to serve two purposes. One, it's going to cushion my blow. And two, it's going to make my feet work that much harder because as my foot lands, the carpet will absorb some of the energy. And now I have to press off of a softer surface. If you're pressing off of a harder surface like uh, concrete, First of all, you're going to smack the ground like that, and the concrete is actually going to send some of that energy back up your leg. One, that's impact, and that's going to do maybe some joint damage over time. And two, it makes it easier for you to rebound and go back in the other direction. So a padded or a softer floor is key. Let's get on with the drills. Here's cone hops. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place five sets of cones. I've got ten here, so here's one set. I'm doubling them up. There's two, here's three, here's four, and here's five. Now the important thing to do is focus on your quick feet. What we're going to do is we're going to do lateral hops across these cones, across, across. And where the, di the difference comes in is you're going to do 11 hops on your first cone. Why 11? Because it's an odd number, 1 past 10 which will get you to the right side of the cones. You're then going to do a two foot hop to the second cone. Then you're going to do 11 of these, which brings you to this side of the cone. You're then going to hop double footed to this side. You're going to do your 11 jumps, then you're going to come to this, this next cone, do 11, and so on and so on to get to the end. When you're done that set, that's going to be 55. I want you to stop, turn around, and do them backwards again. It's going to be a good workout. First move, cone hops. And let's go. at the end but you can see as you start getting tired it's harder to make it over these little cones now this focuses on quick feet which is important because we're landing on both feet as well the impact is divided by both your legs